this is, this is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's not exactly We're, fantastic. It's kind of infuriating. Actually. No, it's it's awesome. This is uh, this is everything that we don't need in the world. Ready? <laughs> okay. So it says Universal Pictures boss says I would love to see us do a female Fast and the Furious spinoff. <laughs> oh, would you? Um, From the same studio that brought you box office smash hit rom com Bros. Bros. From the same yeah, but the same studio that understands that people go to the Fast and the Furious movies to see uh, cars. Girls shaking butts and Vin Diesel grumbling the word family 500,000 times in a movie and endless, and I do mean endless, gear shifting. Like, I, here's I don't a, think Donna Langley is uh, super connected to the fan base of Fast and Furious. What this is, no, this is She's what they need to do. She's removed from it. This is what they need to do. They need to take the same women, give them the same character names, put it under the same franchise, and make it a whole what movie about how women can't drive. <laughs> that would be actually just, they're, they, they just back up oops and they just bump into a bunch of cars and they do all the gear shifting and then they just don't move just because like, they didn't it, put it in instead of drive. fast and furious it will be called slow and confused yes uh it, that's just, my life it, it will be uh and then they can have that would they, be a true representation and it's oh my god and it's i want to see myself on screen and it's universal so they can have a crossover with with uh nicholas cage in the gone in 60 seconds movie from 2000 <laughs> Uh, that had Angeli uh, Angelina Jolie with blonde, um, what do you call them, dreadlocks. Oh, my. Yes. Oh, oh my. yeah. Um, so I don't even want to imagine that. That movie would... I think that this idea is actually kind of insulting because it's like, look at this this beaten dead horse deflated franchise that has been going longer than anyone asked for it to go. This amazing, lost... awesome, completely completely fun it has, oriented okay, franchise it's fun oriented but you cannot deny that it has lost its magic no in a lot of i ways. have to i don't and have a to lot of that. people like the popular sentiment is that after the third movie it lost its charm for for most that's bs this movie did this movie didn't start making box office bank until five and up uh, so th that is uh, that is not true so i mean it's it's, it's Yes, it's a money maker for sure. It says, but it's kind of insulting because it's like, here, women, take this thing that's for men, yeah. and then yeah. it, when you inevitably disappoint the fan base, we're going to blame gonna it on you. the fan base, and they're going to hate you. And what this movie has done very smartly, this what this franchise has done very smartly, is not insult the fan base and just make movies that people want weren't we covering some uh drama on the fast and furious set with vin diesel and um justin lynn yeah justin uh, lynn he, well he's not directing the 10th one anymore they, yeah they, that was hilarious so oh there's also i mean there was also there's always egos in those movies like vin diesel had beef with the rock uh i it always felt to me i love like, that like who can have beef with the rock like I, it always felt to me like paul walker was the one that held it all together Hmm. Like and then when he passed away, that they, they're kind of uh, fell apart uh, okay. in, that, in that respect. And and uh, and Tyrese Gibson has always kind of been like they're like Tyrese is that crazy uncle that shouldn't have social media but does. <laughs> so it says uh, this is from this uh, this producer. It says I would love to see a female fast. Langley said so would Vin Diesel. He <laughs> he have so many great and amazing female characters in our franchise. And now that there's this new edition of Brie Larson. The I'm going to repeat that. Now that we've okay. got this new edition of Brie Larson. Crickets. To add to the incredible roster, I would love to see us do a female fast. This Donna Langley doesn't sound like a Fast and Furious yes. fan. Anytime to me. these people do something right, it's on freaking accident. There's no way anyone entertains this idea that has any clue about what actually makes this franchise work. None whatsoever. I want to, uh, I went and looked at the original interview this came from, and I found her comment on the box office failure of Bros. And I just want to read it to give you some context what? for Donna Langley um, and the fact that she's in denial of what actually makes money. Yes. She said, uh, I'm going to start, or the question was, the disappointing box office for bros, do you feel homophobia had anything to do with it? As Billy Eichner said. She said, I'm going to start by saying that we are extraordinarily proud of this film. <laughs> and if we had to do it over, we would make the same decision to make the film. 
We would make the same decision to release it wide. We would do many things the same over again. I think given the quality of the film, the playability of it, the critics' response, I have no doubt that in the post-theatrical world, the film is going to find its audience. It should have always been a post... It should have never been a theatrical release. Right. But the, the, she you know, said uh, that those numbers that we saw in the opening weekend box office where people didn't show up we somehow missed the mark in terms of enticing people to see the movie in theaters i don't know exactly why but what i do know about films that are identity statement films that are for specific audiences you have to do a really good job of inviting the audience in and making them feel that there's enough universality and relatability they it's it's weird because she was able to verbalize what they need to do but they never do it she verbalized exactly what they needed to change about it, yeah. but then also in the same breath said that they shouldn't have changed yeah. anything about it. And they do the same things the same way all over again. It, it, because it's, it's really not about money for them. It's, it is about exactly what she said. Identity statement films. Yeah. Fast and Furious Broads Edition would be an identity statement film. It'd be awesome if they called it like just Broad's Edition. It also isn't attractive to a female audience because female audiences don't give a crap about Fast and Furious. And also, men don't care about the Broad's Edition of Fast and Furious unless they well, make it hot babes. And I don't know if that's what they're planning on doing. Instead of like hot girls dancing around cars, it's going to be just uh, buff dudes well, dancing around It's going to be cards. like Brie Larson and then like mm, Lizzo cameo. <laughs> uh, uh, who else are they going to bring so it in? It says rumors <laughs> circulated for a few years now that the Fast and Furious franchise getting a spinoff spotlighting its female ensemble. Does anybody remember the, the girl boss scene in uh, Avengers? No. Uh, what do you mean by that? The the girl boss scene where all the women come together in the most unrealistic way ever to, to take on Thanos. It, in it, a way that women never come together it, it, yeah. in like, real life like behind the, a common the, cause. The real the real movie would just be them like backstabbing each other and sending mean messages about one another to their friends and then asking their husbands how to drive a stick shift. <laughs> Whoa. Just kidding. It's a joke. You're, you're really going yeah. all out today. The, the girls need a spinoff, says series mainstay ludicrous. See, they've made their money now. They don't care if they burn it all to the ground now. None of these people are... I are, mean, burning it all to the ground would really be fitting for the end to the Fast and Furious franchise, wouldn't it? Yes. They have to go out with a bang. Would be uh, right? incredible. Uh, so Brewster, who's been with the Fast and the Furious franchise since the original installment, added in the same interview, that would be awesome. I've heard those rumors. I think that would be incredible. Think about all the people we could bring back, right? We could bring back Ava Mendez, who would be incredible to work with. Well, you should bring back Ava Mendez. She's too busy. She with Ryan Gosling? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's, but, but here's the thing. When, men, when they make movies about all male casts or what are perceived as all male casts it works because it's not about the fact that they're men the the fact that they're men is because they're doing things that yeah. men naturally do like drive cars and that's not to say that there can't be female led action movies or female ensembles starring in action movies charlie's but angels worked yes in exactly the 2000s. until they ruined it yeah. um it, but it can't be in an existing franchise that, uh, at least by my standards, it's has existed far too long. Yeah. But it's it's designed for a male, a predominantly male audience. Yeah, they're supposed to be a, a money making machine franchise. You can't make that into an identity statement. Nope. And whether they like it, the thing is, though, is when this idea gets pitched, right, they're not thinking of it that way. They're thinking about all the cool ideas that they could implement if they did it this way. They just don't realize it will never be marketed that way. Even if you made a, if you miraculously found a way to make a Fast and the Furious movie with all women, first of all, it'd be weird because people are like, where the hell are the men? Yeah. Do you think that the new Fast and Furious film is going to that featuring all women in the cast is going to fit the Bechdel test? Uh, like the, you need men in the film to even make it past the Bechdel test. If it's all women in the film, then explain that to these people doesn't uh, require uh, any uh, effort. Explain to to people if they're yeah. watching in the video what the Bechdel test is. Some people might not know. The Bechdel test um, is created to rate films 
in how they humanize female characters. So mm-hmm. they have to have more than one female character talking alone with each other about something other than a man mm-hmm. or men uh, for a minimum of what, like was the amount of minutes five minutes or something like five like minutes i do i do know that the feminist who came Funnily up with that enough, <laughs> idea admitted that that was a joke i think I um too seriously the fast and furious movie where they went to space which one was that nine nine uh that actually passed the Bechdel test i didn't know that well, but i just all, looked into it earlier they all would <laughs> so I, it's like i i don't see how this this film franchise was lacking in like female representation or strong female characters or what have you when it passes even the most absurd joke level test to to rate it Surge, on that on those uh, grounds surgeon uh, Surge X in the chat says blinker flu- blinker fluid malfunction <laughs> let's go it's just them getting going it's, to get the it's oil them change. getting like 600 dollars oil, oil changes, changes. <laughs> it's guys and like, then calling uh, their husbands and being like are you sure it's supposed to cost that much i already left it's, it's <laughs> incredible that's that's what they can do it'll be, it'll be, <laughs> like it's just it's it's so beyond parody and it, it, uh, are you sure that the bechdel test was a joke Yes, the, the I, I uh, thought that it actually came out of an academic institution. The lady who who came up with it later admitted that it was. A, I could be misremembering that, but I thought the mm. lady who came up with it later admitted that she said that it was like a it was a, a joke that became serious. Okay, so seems like a bit of a cope or like a cop out from yep. what you said. So, so, like, I imagine that the cast think this would be really, really good, but the cast is full of rich people that aren't connected to the world that we live in now and don't know how to connect to the actual viewers. They take for granted just to, like, I'm guessing that Jordana Brewster or Michelle Rodriguez, Charlize Theron, who doesn't want to go see Helen Mirren in a car movie? My God. None of these people are looking at the demographic breakdowns of who goes to see these movies. No, and they're gonna, and then they, they've got irrelevant. their, and they've got their built-in excuse that when men don't go see the movie, that wasn't for you, uh, mm. that they're that they're misogynist. That's it. Almost makes me want them to go through with this pitch, just so we can see it crash and burn. No pun intended. <sighs> It'd be such a fall from grace. I I would love to see the Fast and Furious franchise like kill itself in real time with this. Yeah, and just prove that you know you'll. You, you gotta put your money where your mouth is But there's something like, so disingenuous about making it in all Like just the idea of making it in all women's Nobody's asking for mean guys <laughs> Right no. By the way A movie so honest as Mean Girls About the like social dynamics Of, of especially like young women um, That's so anti-girl power And yeah. like the traditional Women are actually Like evil. toxic positivity <laughs> That we get today yeah. It would just never be made again Today Women are actually 2004 sociopaths. was such a good um, year For yeah. chick flicks by the way Like no one is asking for Mean guys No one is asking for Clueless with men mm-hmm. No one is asking for Juno uh, <laughs> Well You could actually, make Juno They could do that now With a male protagonist yes. now we're gonna we're gonna skate right past that one yep <laughs> there, <there's, laughs> like nobody no guys are asking to invade women's space for movies right men are just annoyed that women keep this cu- I, are you watching a marvel movie can i come in can i watch the marvel movie with you why is that character like that why aren't there more women here why why are they always fighting crime shouldn't they be in a, a drinking milkshakes and eating food together and gossiping that's what people do yeah, like, it's also just lame when you have to awkwardly insert a younger female character who is less relevant than their way more famous male counterpart in a Marvel film. I forgot. They were going to make... Uh, it pits them against each other. They were going to make a fight club, a, a girl's version of Fight Club. What? Uh, I don't remember if it was Dove Cameron. What is it? Where they verbally abuse each other? Uh, I don't remember who the heck was it going to be that was in that movie. But yeah, there was going to be a girls only version of Fight Club because That's nothing Gossip is sacred. Girl. Yeah, because nothing is sacred. Uh, and That's so weird. That's such a weird idea anyway. What's another movie that you loved growing up? Like a, a, a girl movie? Uh... Uh, Clueless is definitely up there. Cure 13 so- going on 30. There you go. Freaky Friday. With Freaky Gu- Friday, Freaky, for sure. Freaky Friday with guys. 
Yeah. No, no one wants that because dudes don't want to. They're like they don't want pretty in pink for guys. They're, they're, yeah, they're like you want to be over here in your space. <laughs> Fine, go over there in your space. Girls don't want to be. Well, people would argue like there aren't men trying to invade women's spaces because women's spaces are marginalized. They are. It's their bathrooms. Uncomfortable. And- yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's their yeah. bathrooms and their sports teams. The the only women's spaces that that men are encroaching upon are not in Hollywood. They're in gym real, bathrooms in the real life. Uh, aside from that, I'm no. I'm trying to some more movies. Like I'm trying to think of more movies that would have been more mm. female oriented. Chat, uh, help me out with it. Uh, somebody in the chat, this one probably has some better examples. I mean, no one is talking about starting a Disney Prince franchise. Oh my god, when are we going to get that? When are we going to get uh, the Disney Prince franchises? Because that would actually uh, make a lot of money. Uh, would it though? Short bus. Are people interested in that? Short bus bully says, didn't they do Freaky Friday with dudes? Did they? I did they don't think so. I only know there was the original and then the Lindsay Lohan and yeah. Um, what was her name? It was the, the, Jamie, Lee Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan remake. And then there was another remake that was also a girl. The Craft, awesome all girl cast uh, with uh, a movie with uh, Buffy. Nobody wants a guy Buffy the Vampire Slayer. True. I don't want to go. I don't want to buff the Vampire Slayer movie. Buffy, yeah. <laughs> leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. Don't touch it. Uh, so I love how in like female oriented uh, <laughs> shows and movies, by the way, the male characters are literally just accessories to the story. Like they are not people, and it's it's awesome. Mm-hmm. And the same thing can be said for for <laughs> male oriented films and shows that for are for men to watch. The women don't have to be the sole focus. Yeah. Like that should be fine, right? Well, the thing like nobody like it's almost like every when people say inclusive, they that means like literally everything is like sometimes you're just telling a story. You have a story, constraint of time, uh, right? Uh, yeah, like everybody has their own story. Yeah. And oh no, you didn't include more of this group. You didn't include more women. You didn't include more of this. That's not the story I'm telling here. Go tell your own story or give me ideas and maybe the next story I tell will involve that. See, now we're going to get Clueless for men. It's going to be hilarious because it's going to be just like Clueless. Is it going to be from like Josh's perspective or something? No, it'll just, they'll just change it to guys. and uh, That would be terrible. It would be uh, Cher would be just a guy. Didn't they make a TV show about Clueless? Yes, they Where did. they recasted Cher, but yeah. not... Yeah, Dion was still Dion. in it. Well, that's because uh, What's-Her-Name is super based, so she was probably only getting TV work by that right. time. What's her name? Stacey uh, Dash. Stacey, Stacey Dash. We need her based. on the show. That would be fun. Oh, my God. Stacey Dash. I'm, gonna, I'm totally... Culture gonna, Crisis. I'm, Manifesting. I'm gonna it's going to happen. I'm going to shoot my shot after this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it, her a message on Instagram <laughs> and be like, ah! host a podcast i want to hey. come on and like we can talk about donald i'll dm trump. her too and then she'll be like who are these people we can talk about donald trump if you want like <laughs> you can talk uh, about anything dude, she's so she's so uh she got so like red pilled she voted for romney like she, <laughs> guys she, when he, when brett says that he doesn't mean that, that he's pro romney no he just what means, i'm saying like, is that she went so far the other way that she went <laughs> she went from voting for obama to voting for romney which means she probably would have been fine with mike pence uh. Ugh. Uh, oh, somebody says uh, Fight Club would be Slap Club. <laughs> <laughs> I'll scratch your eyes out. <laughs> like, n- like n- nobody wants Rocky with women. Like, nobody wants a female boxing movie. No. I mean, yeah. think about why the Karate Kid movie that starred Hillary Swank was such a flop. The no one wanted to see that. Oh, the yeah. Because uh, you don't even remember what, yeah, what that like, it what? existed exactly, it was, Brett. It was like my that just, just shows that like that didn't register in anyone's consciousness because it was lame. Girl, girl, Rambo, Wambo, so dumb. Girl, Rambo movie. She's like trying to pick up the gun. It's like it's heavy. <laughs> Would nails. there be like a Twilight film but with a male protagonist? Could be. Could do that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's what. Um, Stephanie Meyer's newest book in the franchise was about it was like writing the first novel but from Edward's perspective and he's literally just like a sigma male with with autism counting the number of leaves on every tree it's actually like kind of funny I, I've been meaning to pick that up and read some of it <gasps> uh, uh, also I want to point out like they're, they're never going to change it like the women are always going to be the scream queens there's never going to be scream kings of some guy who gets scream kings, kings. Like, ew, you're, ew, ew, ew. you're never going to get like a guy who ends up being like the lead uh, the guy who survives all the horror movies uh, I've been meaning to rewatch uh, scream queens I never saw the show I just said scream queens and like that's what they call women who are in the horror movie genre 
Oh, okay. It was a good show, though. But I didn't, I didn't watch that Had, one. Um, Emma Roberts. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.